What's up guys, this is the Vickery Beast, and today I'm teaching you, yes you, how to do throat bass. Also, notice, um, sorry about the background, just painted that, trust me, that's not the finished wall, um, I'm gonna mask that off with, uh, masking tape, um, just along the lines, and then I'm gonna paint the whole wall gray instead of black, and I added, a glow-in-the-dark spray paint on there, too, so that's gonna look pretty sweet, um, I don't know why I did it from that perspective instead of that perspective. I guess I can do the rest of the video from over here, but, um, so, yeah, this is hurting my arm. I'm just going to set you down over here. Okay, so throat bass is kind of a complicated sound, but really, really simple to put into a beat. Um... Well, it's it's easy to get, but hard to get well. So, um, I've heard a lot of people say they got it from tutorials saying that you get the sound by coughing, but I think that's a pretty bad tutorial because coughing can also result in chest bass, and I use chest bass instead of... Um, throat bass for like years and I just learned how to do throat bass thinking that chest bass was throat bass the whole time like uh, my codfish cover was horrible because I used all chest bass and I didn't realize it um, I, I found out like I don't know a few months after that video and that's why everyone is hang hating on that video but yeah, I was using chest bass, which is <laughs> instead of <laughs> it's completely different, but it's hard to tell the difference when you're first uh, getting started as a beatboxer. So how I would recommend starting off the sound um, instead of coughing, because you don't naturally go, <clears throat> you go, <clears throat> Um, instead of coughing, I would recommend, you know, just the pressurized voice, like, tons of beatboxers use it now for who even knows why, like, Dilo talks about how dumb it is that everyone uses that now, but it's this voice, you know, hey, hey. <laughs> Uh, sometimes that, that voice actually does pair well with vibration bass, like, shout out to Inertia, um, high, 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 middle, A, low, O, um, but, Try to get that voice, uh, and then at the same time, instead of coughing, do just like the, I don't know what you'd call it, just spurtsy kind of um, vocals. <laughs> and instead of it popping, just try to keep it at the, <laughs> I sound so stupid right now. <laughs> Keep it on that impact, but uh, in that voice instead of uh, that voice uh, 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 there's a difference. Um, <laughs> so. Do not, do not listen to those other tutorials that say to cough, because when I cough, it sounds like chest bass, or it produces a sound similar to chest bass. <coughs> 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 Which 
which is a sick sound too, especially since I worked on it for so many years. As soon as I started doing vocalized chest bass, it sounded like really smooth. Because I had cleaned up my chest bass for so long. So, yeah. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Throw bass. Um, just... Um, if you do it too much, you start to get it, and your throat starts really hurting. It's a good sign. Uh, keep doing it. I know that sounds harsh, and it's really harsh on your voice, but if you, if you let your, um, if you let your throat rest, then, um, you might, you guys might roast me in the comments for this, but if you let your, at least as I've found, um, if you let your throat rest, then your body will start to get used to not using throat bass, so you have to just, all the time, and to make it more interesting, um, I would recommend, like, impersonating a didgeridoo, I have, I have a didgeridoo up there, I don't know if you can see it, um, you could just look up a didgeridoo sound, um, but for a good didgeridoo impression, I would recommend putting your tongue in the air scratch position. That's also the position for my special sound, but inwards. I've been working on that sound recently, but ah, uh, ah, uh, and then move one side of your mouth over. I do this side. Is that, is that? Um, also that, that position, <clears throat> sorry about that. That position makes any sound deeper i might do a whole another video on that because that might be a good title i just realized but um yeah just um just practice with that kind of stuff um, and then when you can get into wubs, cause that's kind of like a fun way to get into learning throat bass with beatboxing. If you're into like dubstep kind of stuff, um, or you can just do like a repeated kick drum and do like a, um, techno beat. So, yeah. Wow. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on throat bass. I know it's probably not the best tutorial out there, but it's probably better than the ones that tell you to cough and make that sound. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys later. And... <laughs>